Welcome back. Today we got a little job on the lawnmower to do. As you might be able to see, we got two broken exhaust bolts. I don't really understand the failure mode, but it almost looks like the head shed off. Um, because there is about the thickness of the flange is left. Maybe it just worked its way out because it was getting louder and louder and louder. And then I realized the uh, the bolts were off, gone. So we're gonna put a nut on, weld it on, and try to get it out. That's the plan. Yeah, we got the little buggers. That weld went a bit strange, but anyway, we got him out. Here it looks like there is the cylinder head is aluminium at the back. But uh, there is a, a metal plate here, which is in between. So we fit some new bolts with some uh, anti-seize. Probably chase it with a with a tap first, and then we should be okay. It's quite tough actually. The uh, the thread was very stiff, so. Quite a bit of stuff coming out here. Okay. Blow the chips out, find a new gasket, and uh, put it back together. Got a couple of other things. There's a bolt missing here. Not done much before the winter, but uh, yeah, check the oil, the usual things. So the exhaust is back to normal again. I put some bolts in rather than studs, I didn't have anything. Uh, we checked them regularly, put some spring washers underneath, hopefully it's okay now. A couple of other things we need to look at, which is... Uh, Uh, the stop cable is broken on the lever, but uh, today we need to look after the belt. I don't know if that's visible. Uh, you've got the rolls here, so you're going to loosen the rolls, otherwise you can't get the thing out because the belt is completely stripped. That's our new boss, which we made a while ago, still doing well, not coming loose. Uh, let me get the belt out and then show you how these rollers work together. Sorry, it's a bit dark and shaky, but uh, you can't really get there with a the tripod. So we got the rollers out, and the reason why you can't get the belt off is because of these stoppers here. They actually hold the belt. The belt runs against that uh, roll with the rear, and so what it does, it holds the belt in. So to to tighten the belt, it just twists the whole thing. Uh, yeah, which is rough, but it works. Um, the problem is, it's actually going onto, onto the belt life. Because this is a belt which was used for a while, and uh, it looks pretty rough. We're going to pull the other one in a minute. But if you listen to that rollers... Well, that's not too bad. But this is pretty rough here. I can't hold it. Right. We got some new ones. Unfortunately made of plastic, so this is weird. There's just a washer here which holds on that. Basically holds the bearing in against that washer here or spacer. And that's about it. So we got some other ones, I don't know if they fit, but uh, once we pull the belt we do that as well. So the, the best thing is actually pulling, once you got the rollers out, the belt is pretty slack, so you, you might be able to pull it from the rear, which is, uh, use the camera down here. There is a pulley down here, I don't know if it's visible. I'm going to creep down and pull it from the pulley. There is also a tensioner bolt here. 
which needs to come out as well because that's the uh, same thing with this uh, retainer for the belt so if it's slack it doesn't come out same thing I think that's uh, pretty noisy as well so we'll see take it out get the belt out you can see that's the rear one so it holds the belt in position so you can't get it out so all you need to do is actually and if you That sounds really promising. So we're gonna replace that at least because this is <laughs> okay. That's uh, end of life. Anyway, why is this bolt so tight here? But uh, with this belt, there's no problem to get it out because if you look at this, it's just it acts as a clutch, and that's the reason why the belt is so crumbled. Okay, it's about. Ah, over two years old now so and I use it quite hefty for towing the trailer around and things like that so yeah it's just a consumable all right we need to get the shift lever out because it's above and beyond uh, we're gonna change that roller because this is really it just sounds horrible when you drive it sounds like something is grinding and think the gearbox is faulty but it's not it's just the, the pulley or the tensioner uh, can take them apart it's, it's just riveted together and there's some bearings inside so we refurbish them so we have some new ones when the plastic ones fail anyway let me get that belt out and uh, we'll come back to get the belt out you normally need to take the mower deck be uh, belt away as well but what you could do is actually is just stick it down and turn it around because there's enough slack so you don't need to mess around with that just pull one end through and uh, then you're over makes life a bit easier anyway let's, look. let's have a look at the belt and here we got the the old belt it's completely ripped a piece is missing it's just overheating and uh, completely worn out luckily uh, I've been to a lawnmower business a while ago and bought a few pallets of stuff. So I'm pretty sure we'll have one which fits. Let me find the right one and uh, we'll have a look. So we found a 30 by 2134, uh, which looks pretty good. It says anti static and heat resistant. It's just the right thing that we need for more. Uh, it's about the same length though. I don't know exactly what the length is here, no idea. Uh, I think I bought two but I couldn't find the other one. Maybe I used it already, I don't know. So let's put that on and see how the length looks like and then uh, yeah the process is simple. We just put it in reverse and uh, also change that roller and uh, then we should be done. So we got it freed up and uh, sort of cleaned. I get everything, got everything greased here, and that goes on top of it. But uh, we need to get the belt in first, and then you, it just, it basically goes this way. So tensioning the belt is inwards. So just while it's loose. Get the belt in and then snap snug it up and uh, that should be it uh, you can't see that really I'll, I'll do it in a minute and then we swap the other ones it just pushes basically that's the old one that's pretty rough um, it just pushes go on top of it they keep the distance and at the bottom there's just a washer pretty simple all right, let me get that, that one in and uh, put the shift lever link back and then we do the other one. So here we got a new roller. They're a bit bigger in diameter, but not much. Maybe make that four, four millimeter per side, five millimeter per side. 
we'll see how they fit. The hardware fits, same diameter of the core. It's plastic, don't know how long they last, but we're gonna refurb the old one anyway, so we have a spare. Um, once the bearing is gone on these, you can see it's molded in basically, and uh, I think it's ultrasonic welded, so it's a, it's a, it's a molded part, and um, then they just use an ultrasonic welder and, and basically just welded the bearing in. It's cheap. They were actually cheap. I think they're from China. Anyway, so we're gonna fit those for the tensioner, which is on the pedal here. Uh, again, pretty simple how they go. It's going this way. And then the belt retainer just goes on top of it. And uh, give that stuff a little bit of a clean. And then I'll fit it. I don't know if that's visible at all. I have no idea. But uh, you give it the whole thing. How it works. I haven't tightened it up so when you tighten it up you make sure that the uh, that the stoppers here not binding when it's running so they're gonna be about here that's all there's no, no special precautions I know it's not visible most likely not because it's a dark anyway let's tighten it up and try it so we got it back together but uh, there are some more areas of work. I don't know if you see that shaft. It's the hole is oval, and it's pivoting in the shaft. So we need to make something there. It's okay. Um, it still tensions it, but it's a bit too too much forward. Uh, can't be bothered today to do the stopper because all you need is to do is pushing here at the moment uh, because I need to find the right cable. I got plenty. I just need to find the right one. So let's give it a try and see if it works. point is a bit far back but uh, it's all right we're gonna pull the big trailer in a minute and uh, that's the proof all right um, that's it for now from the belt again <laughs> I think it's truly used to its end anyway I know it was nothing super exciting but some maybe of interest for someone who knows um, questions let me know as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing until next time the reason why I'm pulling the trailer away is there's so much grass underneath and uh, we'll do the fire this one off. The grass is done, filled all the rabbit holes, put the trailer back.